I believe that the American people, somebody in the press room, in fact, Jeffy, call Joel upstairs and tell him I want our guy in the uh, in the White House to ask a question. Has there been a coup? Has there been a coup? Could you please point us to the people who are actually running this country because the president doesn't seem to know anybody. He doesn't seem to know anything that's happening. He didn't know about Benghazi. He didn't know about gun running. He didn't know about the IRS. He didn't know about anything. So who does? Could you please point to the press room where somebody does know and does have the answer? Because you're either lying or there's been a coup. And this president, this president is woefully misinformed and negligent in his job. Even NBC rolled this edited piece of all of the press asking from all of the scandals. What what did the president know and when did he know it? Listen. I heard on the news about this story that uh, Fast and Furious uh, where uh, allegedly uh, guns were being run into Mexico. Do you know when he first knew that there was a problem? Well, I think it became clear fairly early on, uh, the first couple of days. That so not before that, though? Not before no, October 1st? When did you first learn that the IRS was targeting conservative political groups? Uh, I first learned about it from the same news reports that I think most people uh, learned about. When did the president find out about the Department of Justice's subpoenas for the Associated Press? Uh, yesterday. And... I mean, we still, let me just be clear. We don't have any independent knowledge of that. He found out about the news reports uh, yesterday on the road. I certainly did not know anything about the IG report before the IG uh, report had uh-huh. been leaked through press. Just a quick question about Melinda. Has the president been briefed about what has developed on that? I think he's probably read some, some news accounts of it. I'm not aware that he's been briefed. Oh, that's amazing. That is incredible. So the president hasn't known from everything from Solyndra to you being snooped on. And now on the health care thing. He didn't know. He didn't know. Didn't know. He didn't know. He Nobody nobody informed him the website wasn't ready. Nobody informed him that they have a, a White House document that shows 80% of Americans will lose their health care and their doctors 80%, that is an internal study done by the administration. He was out saying, you're going to keep your health care. You're going to keep your doctor. You're going to keep your health care. You're going to keep your, I promise the American people. Nobody told the president of the United States, you should stop saying that, Mr. President, because that's not true. Somebody should go to jail for that. If I'm the president of the United States, I name names. I point, I turn around and I say, it's this person. This person was in charge. They did the document. They gave it to this person. They read the document. They gave it to that person. All of these people, none of them thought it was important enough to bring it to my desk. They're all fired. And I want you to know their names. Now we're going to have to roll up our sleeves and go to work and send in some geniuses that are going to fix this thing. But they've just destroyed American health care. Because they lied to me. Even though they didn't come out and say, oh, no, Mr. President, that's not true. What they did was allow me to tell you a falsehood. And that's inexcusable. Now, what what honest person would not have that conversation with the American people today? And I don't mean like, well, I have to calculate. I have to think about this. Nope. Which person wouldn't be so deeply sorry and so deeply offended that he had people around him that didn't stop him from lying to you? Please, America, put this one together.